What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steven when it's finally time for week three, where the Eterna City Enders go up against the Los Angeles Nita Kings. Now, the uh, Eterna City Enders are coming off of a nice victory over the last week with the Portland Timbers winning 3-0. And going against the um, Los Angeles Nita Kings, a few things just to keep in mind. Uh, it's important not to lose focus here. And I really want to keep on with this uh, nice winning ratio that I have so far. Uh, my opponent will have some very interesting threats, most notably in the form of Mega Gardevoir. Um, it can kind of dismantle my team if I'm not prepared for it. So um, not only do I have a few ways to hit it super effectively, I can also EV some things to take hits from it if I can predict his spread properly. In addition to that, Weavile once again kind of dismantles my opponent's team pretty nicely. Uh, he has Gartromp, Jirachi, Chestnut, Salamence, Slowking, Jellicent, and Nidoqueen, who all take super effective damage from Weavile's stab attacks. Um, that's not even counting just Weavile's general offensive presence when paired with other Pokemon that can have those same type of attacks even though they're not stabbed. Um, so I don't think he's going to bring both of his dragons. Um, not only do I have Togekiss to go up against Garchomp and Salamence, but uh, I just have Weavile, so there's no reason for him to compound his weaknesses. I do expect him to bring Salamence over Garchomp. Um, Garchomp is kind of hard-walled by Togekiss unless he's carrying a Rock-type attack, and then in that case, if he's sacrificing um, a Fire-type attack over a Rock-type attack, I can kind of bring in other Pokemon on that, of course. Um, in addition to that, um, very threatening on his team is the Infernape and the Jirachi, in addition to the Mega Gardevoir, of course. Infernape can run mixed coverage with Iron Fist Thunder Punch to hit Togekiss. He can run Grass Knot in order to hit my uh, Donphan or my Quagsire. And of course, Fire Punch or Flare Blitz hit very, very hard off of his high base attack stat. And then of course, he can also U-turn. So, and that's not even counting him running a possible hidden power to clean up on the back end. So really important to figure out what type of Infernape it is and to hit it hard. Uh, if he's not running um, Thunder Punch, then I can, of course, maybe scarf, scarf my Togekiss and hit him with an Air Slash, although I don't really like Scarf Togekiss in this matchup. Uh, I like Togekiss's more supportive abilities here. So maybe running um, a more bulky type Togekiss to spread around some Thunder Waves. He only has two ground types, so uh, being able to take advantage of that might be pretty nice. Um, so definitely going to be bringing Weavile and Togekiss. I think also in this matchup, uh, again, defensive Venusaur will do pretty well. He can really only hit it hard with Gardevoir and Jirachi. To a lesser extent, maybe Slowking. Um, even with those, none of them want to take Venusaur's stab attacks except for Jirachi. And then Jirachi doesn't really want to deal with Earthquake or Hidden Power Fire. So I have a few options to deal with right there. Uh, I am, he did make a last minute change. He switched Drapion to Nidoqueen. I actually just noticed that today. And I'm supposed to battle him today. So I'm happy I noticed that. It does give him an additional weakness to my Weavile, but it also gives him a nice, um, more offensive presence than I think Drapion offered his team. I think Drapion was better for the synergy on his team, but uh, Nidoqueen gives him some more offensive options that he didn't have available. Of course, with x Blob, you can really just expect Boom Burst. And since it has Scrappy, I can't just switch my Rotom into it, which would be pretty nice to do. But uh, even with Boom Burst, he can't really two-hit KO a bulky Mega Venusaur. So that is pretty nice. And then, of course, I can one-hit KO his x Blot with Tyrantrum if needed. And actually, Tyrantrum kind of hits his entire team really hard as well, between Outrage and Head Smash. The only things that want to take that is maybe Jirachi. And Jirachi, if it's an offensive one, is to it KO'd by a Bandit Head Smash as well. So, it's nice to have all these different options. I will have to make a decision once again between bringing Donphan or Quagsire. I, the threat of Sticky Web isn't as present here, so Donphan could be nice. Um, if only to bring it for the extra Ice Shard, because he has so many things that are weak to ice. Uh, also, Donphan can use Knock Off, whereas Quagsire can't. Um... So that might be an option. I definitely want to bring uh, the Weavile with Pursuit because several of his Pokemon can be Pursuit Trapped as well. So I'm going to be bringing Pursuit Weavile 
and then uh, I think Tyrantium will be able to take a hit from Salamence or Garchomp with the right investment. So I'm going to be doing some calcs just to see what hits I can have Tyrantium take while still making sure that I can outrun x because that's the most important thing that Tyrantium can really outrun here and hit with a head smash or an outrage. Um, once I remove Mega Gardevoir, I can kind of outrage without any issues. I, I don't really want to miss the head smash. Uh, it's raining so nicely outside. It's the 4th of July and it's just raining and I'm off work early because uh, it was raining and no one wanted to come out to eat or watch a movie because it's the 4th of July. So I'm very pleased to do this matchup analysis right before my battle. I kind of had an extra, I had a day to plan. We were going to try to battle last night, but I didn't get into really, really late. So we did plan on battering, battling today. So it's nice that I had time to do the analysis before the video like I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, that's what I kind of think about his threats there. Uh, something weird that I am going to be trying out in this battle is going to be bringing Worry Seed on my Mega Venusaur, uh, specifically for when he switches in Chestnut. Uh, Chestnut, of course, has the bulletproof ability, and if it's hit with Worry Seed, then that'll get rid of that ability, and I can hit it with the Sludge Bomb instead of Chestnut basically walling my Mega Venusaur. So that'll be nice. It'll also be good to get rid of things like um, Jirachi's Serene Grace ability so that he can Iron Hand flitch me. Uh, Mega Gardevoir, get rid of Pixelate, for example. Things like that. Hit them on the switch with Worry Seed. They're a little bit easier to deal with than switch other things into. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how we're going to approach this battle and look forward to the Eternity Enders hopefully marching to victory in week three. I look forward to your support and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye now.